Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we're back in Minecraft Vault Hunters. Bear with me because I am currently ill. I've got a really bad cough. So if my voice sounds different, that is why. Today, I want to basically just start by going into a vault. Actually, no. Before we do that, I want to try and finally get this actual soul diffuser crafted. So if I am correct, I think we still need some more black opal. So the soul diffuser is like this and we need black chromatic steel which is crafted either with nuggets which we don't have or it's chromatic steel with black opal so we actually need what is this you need four of these ingots i believe you need 32 chromatic steel ingots for this to actually work so we are going to need quite a lot more carbon how is this craft is it like that it is okay so we're going to need a lot more of this. Can you uncraft this back? You can. So crafting it up isn't really wasting it. So I've now crafted 35 and we're now out of chromatic iron. But I'm pretty sure we should have. Yeah, we have a lot of that. We even have some that we can smelt down right there. So that's not something we're going to be running out of anytime soon. So let's now do that and then do that and how many more is that that's now 26 so we still need a bit more of chromatic iron i'm sure we have some in one of these chests we have some raw right there we also have raw right there i just went around and looked in every single chest and i found enough to make one ingot out of these so that's now 27 so we now need what is that five more i think i'd also have some of this actually smelting up so let's quickly just wait for that to finish and I think we need a bit more a bit more black opal as I'm pretty sure we need four of these for the actual ingot because you need one per actual thing. So if we quickly just do that, that is two ingots and I'm pretty sure it's four. Yeah, as you can see, we're missing two still. So we're going to need what is that five more black opal? yeah okay so i guess that's what our main goal inside of the vault is to find i obviously did unlock the backpacks mod in the older pouches mod in the last video and i have thrown some vault gold in here as you can see i've locked it in space i haven't taken all of it in we have got some in this chest just because i don't want to take it all and then die and lose it all so i've just put a little bit amount in there so we can obviously unlock certain things if we come across the vendors inside of the vaults i'm also going to take the gardener specialist within the farmer ability just so we can do a cactus sugarcane and never warts at the moment just for the actual sugarcane so if i now quickly just hold it yeah as you can see it does grow it's quite slow but it's quicker than having to sit here and wait for it to grow i guess and the reason we actually need that is because that is what we need for our next crystal how much did we actually need we need 11 okay so we've completed that let's quickly just take our magnet off so we can throw everything into that and there we go that is now our next crystal done so we can now jump into a vault i have also got the bounty active the bounty i have is to still kill the vault dwellers or vault fighters so we got a cave theme vault and the actual uh what is it called objective is to kill the new actual things which i actually think we've got quite lucky because we've only got three obelisks and they're very little as you can see it's three three and five which means if i click on this we have to kill three mini bosses that sort of thing they're not really bosses i think i might try it uh they should glow okay i did not know that they could actually spawn with crossbows and you can't actually bow them okay that's something i did not know i managed to kill all three now there's something i did not know for some weird reason when you they come near you they change from melee to actual or they change from range to melee which is really weird and they do also have a higher like range than the player does well i died in that vault i didn't really get anything too major i don't think so we're gonna jump straight into another one luckily we are still below level 19 so we didn't actually lose anything uh, what do i need for this it's gold seeds diorite and poison potato i have the gold and the seeds i literally just need to farm the uh, no i have the gold and the diorite i just need to farm the poison potato which i just need to get the seeds 
how many seeds was it we needed 13 i think there we go and in the poison potato i can just come here and click a load of bone meal until we get one it shouldn't be that rare i could actually harvest a lot of these that are grown as well and there we go we have got one so that should now be everything for the actual altar and then we can jump into another vault and hopefully we don't die in this one i actually died due to the uh bosses or the mini bosses so we go that is now the altar completed let's now claim the crystal and let's jump straight into this next vault we do still need to hunt for some vault fighters so that is something we are still going to try and do okay this is furious which is 20 percent mob damage okay that's going to be kind of annoying it's also monoliths which oh we start off with an omega room i think this is an omega room it could be a epic room but let's try it i guess there can't be any uh, bad things that could happen apart from if we get a uh, bad one and we die but i'm pretty sure you can just place blocks up like this and then is it going to be bad or is it going to be good it's good okay let's loot this then what is this this is ovenate chests which i don't actually think you can find black opal in these but it's a lot of loot anyway in this one we found a uh, axe and a sword they are scrappy plus but it's still a axe and a sword so let's hope we can find some more actual what is it called loot some more vault gear i would really like a new shield at this point and also possibly new helmet because i think our helmet is quite low as well we have 15 seconds left and i'm now leaving the vault because we actually got quite a lot in there i didn't go for the target because monoliths are not that easy to find but if we really just look at the XP, okay, we leveled up, which is pretty good. We didn't get that much XP, but we did get a lot for actually... Okay, it was quite, like, scaled. We got 1,900 of chests, 1,300 for mob uh, blocks, and 1,000 for mobs. But that did get us a level. Now, let me quickly just show you what we got from that, because it was actually quite good. So, looking in here, we got a key piece, which I think is huge. We got six mystery boxes, which is also really good. We got 28 Larimar, six Beniotite, and one Black Opal, which the Black Opal is what we wanted. I don't know if this is going to get us the uh, five we need, though. Inside of the here, we did also get a Volt Sword and Volt Axe, which we are also going to roll. So let's quickly do these. We'll do the ores afterwards. Let's quickly just take our magnet off. My helmet broke. Okay, I did not know that. We'll have to replace that in a second. So let's now do that. Let's also do the relics to see if we get anything. We didn't. So let's now see. Are these anything good? Uh, 10 attack damage. Okay, it's the same attack damage. It's got 40% stun attack chance, which I think is kind of good. It has less durability. It does have less attack speed. But it does have a poison cloud, which... This one has poison cloud, but it has poison plus. I don't know what that means. I think it's... Okay, it's a tier 2. So I'm guessing it's better than the tier 1 here. Now, one thing I did recently learn is you can actually, like, test what sword's better by opening up this... As you can see right here, at the moment our damage is 18 holding this sword. If I move back to this one, it's 20.9. So this old sword that we have right here is actually better. But we it's not got long left in it. So that sword might have to be a replacement unless we get another one. So let's now roll these. There's some painite. Black opal would be really good from this. Nope, we didn't get no painite, uh, no black opal at all. We did get some painite and wutadide, which is pretty good. So I guess let's now place these down. And let's see, let's grab our fortune pickaxe. Yes, we have our actual fortune free. I'm hoping we can get enough Beniotite to unlock our next mod or to get our next knowledge star, which means we can unlock the storage mod to get that out of the way. So let's now vein mine the Beniotite. And we're hoping for what, 16 from them? I think that should be good. We got 11, but I think we might have some spare. And from this, we're hoping for five. Uh, which is the best we got two okay so we can't actually get that just yet i guess we can also make this while we wait so let's quickly just throw that into there to craft that into another one of them 
So we only need one more of these ingots now, which we need actually three more black opal for. Let's now see if we can actually do this. I I think that is that done and then that's surrounded by that we are running low on vault diamonds so that's going to be something we need to start hunting for again and then just by doing that yeah we can actually get this knowledge star which is pretty good so let's now claim that how close are we to actually completing our bounty and is there anything in this actual market we can buy there's an elytra. I don't think I want an elytra though because it's pointless kind of inside of a whole void world. So I don't think the elytra is worth buying. Is it going to be? No, because it's like kind of pointless because if we do fly out eventually, we will have to have a block to land on anyway, which means we're going to have to build there. I think think yeah i think we can do that one but before we get to work on that let's quickly just see what mod do we want there was two i wanted to go for and it was down here easy villagers also botania pods but i know they have been made harder to craft i don't know if that update is out yet uh at botania pots no it's not if i just type in botania pots then we should find it yeah okay these are like super cheap at the moment but i don't think we have a source of clay uh can we get terracotta how can we i don't think we can do we how can we get clay um i don't think there is a way do we have like any clay at all i quickly just want to try something so i think we can actually get these uh get some terracotta by going into one of these vaults we can get it from like the other vaults as well but i think there's like a certain room inside of this we're not going to complete this home is south so yeah we're not going to try and complete this we literally just want to go on the hunt for a certain room and i think this is the room okay am i remembering it wrong no this is terracotta is it not um it is like a light gray terracotta so i guess if we just mine up all of this let's put our magnet on real quick uh what are you doing get out of here so i guess if we just like mine up all this this should let us be able to craft them if we do unlock them as this should work let's quickly just check yeah i think we just have to make the light gray ones which are where are they light gray so yeah it's exactly the same recipe just using these blocks so i think this is probably not like the easiest way to get terracotta inside of the sky vault there might be an easier way this is the only way that i know of like a guaranteed chance i know there are also a lot of themes made out of this like terracotta stuff uh, there's like the mesa theme desert theme that has a lot of terracotta they're they're just not like a hundred percent guaranteed chance when you go into one of these scrappy crystals it's like a 90 90 to 95 percent chance that you'll find one of these rooms there are also these big patches of like brown terracotta cutter which we could also mine i want to make sure this pickaxe don't break so let's maybe start using this one as it's a bit slower but i just don't want our silk touch one to break because that's quite good in vaults for grabbing ores and stuff like that we need two more vault fighters and that is one and that is two there we go that is now that bounty completed finally so let's now head out of this vault because there's nothing else we can really do in it i quickly just want to spend our skill points no not our skill points our knowledge points now i know i think the best thing for me to do is probably go simple storage networks so we have like a central point to access all our storage but as far as i'm aware the prices are not changing of that so that's always going to be pretty cheap the botania pots they're changing in the next update which i think they're being made like much much more expensive if i'm wrong then it don't matter because i wanted this anyway but that's what we're going for so oh wow we got fairy helmet fairy chest piece fairy leggings and fairy boots so now let's actually see how many botania bots we can craft it uses this meat which we should have a decent amount of because i have been looting it 
So we just have to like look in all the chests to find where I've thrown it. Now that we've unlocked Botania bots, really this whole thing that I built in last video can be destroyed because the Botania bots will kind of just take its place. But I don't think I want to destroy it. I think I want to keep it. Maybe we could have the Botania bots somewhere near, maybe underneath or something. So what are we missing from this? Uh, the string. Let's throw that in. And that is now everything completed. Let's quickly just get the crystal. And then we're going to be running this in a second. Let's also quickly just do the bounty. Claim reward. Place that down. And our next bounty is either to complete an objective or complete a vault of any vault. Or complete a vote of any vote. What one's got the best rewards? I think I'm going to go there exactly the same. The only thing that's different about them is the rewards. So I think I want to go this one. Just because it has some vault boots in it. Now I'm hoping we get a easy scavenger. That's probably the best thing. And we did get a chest piece from that. Let's quickly just roll that. While we wait, let's also just do this and repair this pickaxe a little bit okay we've already got it four armor okay it's six armor so it's better than that one in armor wise uh but in everything else it's kind of rubbish it don't have the health you're telling me this whole time i could have used concrete apparently you can make concrete versions i did not know that okay so we don't want the copper versions we want the actual uh terracotta versions so uh botania bots then i want the wait can you not use oh wait no that uses terracotta so i'm guessing if i just pull it in there naturally so like that it should then let me craft it yeah there we go so let's do it that way and we're now out of the meat blocks with six botania bots that's not too bad Well, as you saw by that little clip, I died due to a drowned with a trident, which is kind of annoying. I didn't realize drowns could have tridents. But anyway, I think that is where I'm going to end this video. I'm no I have no clue how long the video has been. I my throat is really sore at the moment, so I'm going to end it before it gets any bad worse. We, I guess, in the next video, we'll hopefully try and complete more bounties and hopefully get to unlocking the actual uh, Soul Diffusion. It's pretty pricey, but it's not, like, insane. All I need to do is really just turn one of these, and there we go. That's 20... That's 20... Oh, a stack and 23. I was about to say. So, let's now throw that into there. Does that stay in there when we leave? It does. Okay, that's pretty good. So let's now do this. Oh my god, it's a 2-2. Two -two. This is going to look funny, especially with my skin being a warden. And here we go. We are now... Okay, that looks even funnier than I thought it would. We are now a cute little... I wouldn't exactly call this a fairy, but we are somewhat of a flower. Anyway, if you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.